Hello, uh, Pastor Kevin here. We're continuing uh, the series on the spirituality of money based on my doctoral research of the spirituality of money. And today we're going to be talking about the core feature of my dissertation, of my research, and that is the money wound. The money wound, as I define it in my doctoral dissertation, in my research, is it's an early traumatic experience of money that guides your financial decisions and also add at, guides your relationship with money. Because money impacts identity. Money impacts relationships. Money impacts how we see ourselves. And often, when it comes to money, we are operating out of a sense of woundedness, either a fear of scarcity or even a fear of abundance, something that goes to the heart of who we are. Whenever you are feeling anxious about money, that is your money wound speaking. Why are you anxious about money? It's just money. Why are you getting anxious? And so, since money is everywhere, why do we get anxious about it? And I think that's where the money wound comes in, because sometimes we're afraid of scarcity. We're afraid of not having enough. And so we have to watch every penny we spend or save, or some folks say we shouldn't be saving, just storing money in order for investment, but that's for another time. But um, even folks who are very wealthy have a money wound of scarcity if they feel they just need to hold on to all that money, just amass more and more and more out of a sense of not having enough and therefore not being enough. That's because money tells a story. It tells a story through our lives. It tells a story about our life, what our goals are, what our longings are. As I mentioned before, where your heart is, there your treasure will be also. That's what, you know, of course, what Jesus taught. Money tells a story through our lives, and we interpret that story in various ways, often out of our money wound. For example, my money wound came at the dinner table, as I mentioned in the first sermon of the series based on this research, or oh, it was the heart of this research, was when my dad yelled and shamed me for wanting to go see a movie because apparently that's not something people did back then. Uh, that cost far too much money and how dare I want to indulge in such an extravagance. And so what that did in me, it planted a narrative that says money does not come to this family. Money does not come to you. Money is inherently hard to get. You are not worthy of things that are fun and enjoyable and that sort of stuff. So that was a narrative that I carried with, carried with me subconsciously throughout my life. And it impacted vocational choices, relationships, certainly impacted my marriage, as well as my former spouse's money wound impacted our marriage. Two clashing wounds. That's why I think uh, money is the chief cause of marital breakdown. We operate out of our woundedness, our fear, our sense of scarcity, or our fear of abundance. That impacts our financial choices, and therefore, a sense of worthiness, a sense of personal identity, a sense of safety, and a sense of humanness. The other example I can point to is uh, in the introduction to my dissertation, and I talked about in my 20s, from my early 20s, when I first moved out, moved out of the house, I did not open my bank statement, went straight into the um, recycle bin, mainly because I was afraid of what the story would say about how I spent my money and how I used that resources. Would it condemn me? Would it say something bad about me that I used my money in ways that I shouldn't have? And then the question became, and I asked myself, who's telling that story? Who's telling that story of unworthiness? Who's telling that story of shame? Who's telling that story of of you're not doing the right thing. And if that's when I came to identify, well, looking back, that was my money wound. I was afraid that uh, the, the narrative that my parents, especially my dad, put in me, that money was scarce, and you have to hold on to everything you have as tightly as you have, and not spend money on extravagances, that um, I may have been doing that, and therefore might have been failing my parents. And so the money wound, for me, is being part of the narrative. And part of tending to the money wound in my research is changing that narrative. Yes, I have 
I am inherently worthy of receiving good things. I am a beloved child of God who was created in love for love in a world that was created in love for love to be enjoyed. So now when I open my bank statement, actually I check it, the app on my phone, I look at the uh, paper copies in there. So whenever I open the app, the bank app on, the, on my phone, I'm, I'm telling a different story. I look at my purchases and say, What's, what story is this saying about my life, about my choices, about my longing, where my heart is? And I found that a much more life-giving way of looking at my finances. Of course, they're not perfect and no one's is, but the money narrative has changed as I become to understand myself as a beloved child of God who is inherently worthy of good things to flow into my life through the vehicle of money.